everyone, welcome back to Art of La Carte. Did you like the intro? If you want to find out how I created that, I'll put a link to the video where I did that in the description box below. You can go and check that out. But today's video is a special video. It's dedicated to my friend Megan, is by far April the Giraffe's biggest fan. She loves April the Giraffe so much. Now, for those of you who don't know who April the Giraffe is, in New York State there is a zoo and they have a giraffe named April. They actually have two giraffes, April and Oliver. And April and Oliver are expecting a baby calf any time now. And so like a week now, they've been streaming live footage of April's pen. So I decided in honor of April the giraffe, I would teach you guys how to draw a giraffe and some fun and cool tips. So the first thing I did in the beginning of this video, as you notice, I drew a really large rectangle shape and this is gonna kind of help me to get my proportions in correctly. Now my square was roughly three and a half inches by six and a half inches, um, but you guys could make it larger or smaller depending. Now about halfway between the top and the bottom is where you're gonna put the main body mass, which you'll notice I use kind of this rounded triangular shape. And then at the very top corner, you're gonna put in the head. You don't want the head triangle to be over top of the body triangle. So you kind of, if you brought the head triangle down to the bottom without hitting the body triangle. That was the mistake I made the first couple goes I had at making giraffes. I would always put the head way too far back and it made my giraffe look a little weird. Then go ahead and add the neck to connect the head to the shoulders in a nice kind of swooping motion. You don't want it absolutely straight, but you don't want it super curved like a swan, just a very gentle curve. And you're gonna notice as the neck goes down, it gets a little thicker as it gets down towards the shoulders. Now, as I do with almost all of my drawings, for the legs, I'm going to use just basic lines to kind of block out the shapes and give them their nice knobby knees and all of that. Um, I really highly recommend, if you haven't drawn a lot of drafts before, to use reference photos. There's tons of them out there. Or you can watch April live streaming as she walks around her pen. Focusing a little detail on the actual face, um, they have kind of a little knobby forehead that comes down to a nice sloping thin uh, muzzle shape with a knobby little chin, and then they have these great lips that are really perfect for reaching up into trees and grabbing any kind of leaves or fruit. They have these amazing long tongues, which are totally cool. My favorite part about a giraffe is by far their amazingly beautiful eyes. I love giraffe eyes. I want to do a painting just up close of giraffe eyes. So this is your basic giraffe shape. Now comes the fun part about adding the spots and color. For me, I like to add the base color in first before I begin to add in my spots. That way I'm not trying to paint the in-between not trying to get that base color in between the lines of the spots. So I'm going to put down just a nice bright colored yellow between them all. Giraffes generally have a much lighter tone in their color, but that's kind of what makes drawing and painting giraffes really fun, is to kind of get creative on their spots. I've done rainbow giraffes before, and so this one I'm going to have a bright yellow popping up underneath, and then, because you guys know, especially if you watch one of my previous streams, I love metallic paints, so I'm going to use some metallic gold paint to paint in the spots, which is going to be fun because if you're looking at it where it's not shiny, it's this nice deep kind of copperish gold color, and then as you maneuver the paper, then they're just really going to start shining and sparkling. It's, it makes for an interesting piece. Now, as far as the spots go, they don't have a distinct pattern. Like, I mean, they're they're kind of just blotchy. like glass that's broken and you kind of see where all the pieces could kind of fit together but they're you know they've been broken so that's how I determined where I wanted to put the spots for my giraffe or up towards the face I noticed that the spots tend to get a little bit smaller but each giraffe is a little bit different so just have fun with that be creative now to make this piece pop just a little bit more I went and pulled out my yes more metallic paints um this time was kind of this really cool aqua shiny color it's called it's turquoise <laughs> I thought it would have a special name but it's called turquoise and I decided to add in the turquoise in the background I was going to do originally just a black background I decided well hey if a little bit of metallic paint is cool then a lot of metallic paint is even more cool so there we go after that, just added a few more finishing details with my colored pencils to add a little bit of shadow and highlights to the giraffe, and voila, my finished giraffe picture. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do decide to draw some giraffes of your own, would love to see some pictures of them. So make sure to post them to my Facebook page or tag me in your Instagram photos, and I'll leave all my social media links in the description box below as well. 
Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoy drawing animals, check out this playlist where I have all of my animal drawing tutorial videos listed. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!